Hey, it's a refined reseller. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, you'll get tips, tricks, and advice on how to be the best eBayer you can possibly be. Plus, from time to time, I will show you things that I have bought at garage and estate sales and I have sold on eBay. I'm about to do that in just a second. But first, please take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So here are some things I recently sold on eBay. I bought them at garage and estate sales, so let's get started. The first item is this pair of Vans off the wall skateboard shoes. It has an Avengers theme and I gotta be honest, I think I made a mistake. I put them up for sale. They sold within five minutes for $19.99. I did look them up to see what they had so far previously. They really had not sold for that much money, but I mean, I probably could have gotten more if I would have asked more or if I would have had an auction. So you live and you learn, but I'll take the $19.99. I paid $2 for them. Here's another pair of shoes. This is a pair of Solomon hiking boots. I had them listed for $29.99 and I took a best offer of $20. Okay, so here's what I've decided to do. I have decided to get rid of all of my clothing. It takes a long time for me to sell clothing. I do not make a lot on it, so I am just getting rid of it. I'm taking just about any offer that I am given, so let me show you what I'm talking about. First, I sold this LSU shirt. I had it listed for $24.99, Somebody came along and offered me $12 and I sold it for $12. Here is a Corona beer shirt. I had it listed for $19.99. Somebody offered me $10. That's half price. So what? I sold it. I got rid of it. Here is a Tommy Hilfiger Seersucker shorts. I had them listed for $18.98. I had them listed for a very long time. Somebody offered me $15 and I sold them. Next, I bought this vintage Old Spice mug and brush. I actually saw this on estatesales.net at this upcoming estate sale. I made a list of things that I wanted to buy at that sale. I got there early. I was one of the first people to get in, and I went straight to this item, and I picked it up. I sold it for $34.99. Next, I bought this Cox Cable Contour Remote, and I sold it. I bought this with probably about $300. Other items, this guy used to work for Cox Cable. He was an installer. He had a lot of items he wanted to get rid of. I bought everything in bulk, and this is the first one that I have sold. I had it listed for $14.99, and I sold it for $11.50. Next, I sold this vintage paint instruction book on how to paint exotic butterflies. Again, I bought a lot of these at an estate sale. I had it listed for $12.99, and I sold it for $10.99. I also sold this Medline Canula tubing. This is for people who are on oxygen. I bought a bunch of these at a garage sale. You know, it's something that I saw. It was, a, a, you know, kind of an unusual item. You don't see these very often. And I was kind of smart enough to buy them. I'm proud of myself. But anyway, I put these together in a lot. I had them listed for $59.99 and I sold them for $53.99. Just a word of caution, whenever you buy medical supplies like this at a garage sale before you buy them make sure you can sell them on ebay because if you buy something that someone had to get through a prescription you cannot sell it on ebay next i saw this head prestige tennis racket i put it on sale i had it uh, 10 percent off maybe 20 percent off and i had it listed for $55.99 i took a best offer of 45 dollars i actually bought two of these at a garage sale I sold another one. It was listed for $69.99. It was not on sale. Somebody offered me $55, so I took it. So $45 and $55, that total sales of $100 for these two tennis rackets. Next, I sold this bicycle photo. It is antique. I think it's from the 1910s or whatever. I had it listed for $4.99. I sold it for $3.00. I bought this at a 100 mile garage sale. If you'd like to see a video of that sale, just click the link above, it'll take you right to it. But I bought a whole photo album of photos just like this, probably 100 photos. I did not pay much for them. This is the second or third one I, that I have sold. 
I also bought this Clemente or Clement rum bar mat. I don't drink alcohol. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but I also bought this on the uh, 100 mile garage sale. I had it listed for $19.99 and I sold it for $17.99. It was brand new in the box. Um, again, I took a best offer of $17.99. I also sold this. This is a Tito's uh, bar condiment tray. I uh, bought this at the exact same place. I had it listed for $29.99 and I sold it for $22.99. Next, I sold this Green Mile audio book, um, had it listed for $12.99, took a best offer of $8. I had it listed for quite some time. You know, I see a lot of audio books. They do sell, but they really don't sell for a lot of money. So when you do buy them, make sure you do not pay much for them. I'm continuing to sell DVDs and CDs. Here is a DVD lot that I sold of drama movies. Uh, they sold for $10.99. I also sold this Inspector Deck CD. It is hip hop and rap. I had it listed for $19.99 and I took a best offer of $14.99. I also sold this Jeff Beck CD. Of course, Jeff Beck is a, you know, an incredible guitarist, has been playing guitar for years and years and years, going back to the 1970s. I had it listed for $16.99 and I took a best offer of $12.99. Finally, I saw this Aqua Teen Hunger Force DVD. Uh, I'm not familiar with this, but it looked rather interesting to me, so I picked it up and it sold for $9.99. So again, I'm just gonna tell you one more time, DVDs and CDs, they do sell, especially when you can buy them in bulk and you can get a whole bunch of them for a very low price. I bought more than 300 of them, DVDs and CDs, probably about four months ago. I am still selling these. They sell for me almost every day. So keep an eye out for them and don't be afraid to offer the seller a lowball offer because with Netflix and Hulu and Spotify and Pandora and Apple Music, CDs and DVDs are not worth anything as or, or rather are not worth as much as they once were. They're almost worthless, so you can easily pick them up for a very low price and sell them like I do. So those are some items that I have sold recently, some things that I bought at garage and estate sales. I really hope you learned something from watching this uh, video and you saw some things that you may not have thought about buying that you will now put into your list. So whenever you're out sourcing, you can look for stuff like this. So this is the refined reseller saying, do like me, buy low, sell high, like this video, and please subscribe, and I will see you next time.